Hello, and today I'm going to teach you how to add pictures to a library in Figma. First, go ahead and open up your Figma app. Once that's open, go to Twist Labs under Teams and go to Master Component page. Once you're on Master Component page, go ahead and click on New Design. Okay, once we have that up, we're going to double click on Untitled and name this whatever we're adding the pictures of. Okay. Once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and go over to our folder with the images. When you're adding pictures to Figma, make sure that you add 10 to 12 pictures at a time. Any more than that, I've noticed that it will not load or preview correctly. I selected these pictures and I am going to grab them and drag them over to Figma. Okay, once I've dragged them over to Figma, it will say adding images, and I'm going to let that go ahead and load. It may take a few minutes depending on the size of each of the images. It's best not to click on anything or touch anything in Figma because it will freeze up. So just give it some time. Once the pictures are in Figma, you will notice all of them in your layers panel to the left and it immediately zooms it in to 100%. I'm going to zoom out of it using my trackpad and I zoom out of it to 2% to be able to see all the pictures. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on the top picture in the layers panel. I'm going to hit shift and this will and then select the bottom one and it will select all of them. Go ahead and go over to the components tab and create multiple components. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to this tab and I'm going to click on frame or hit the F key. And this, you will go ahead and start at the top of the first picture to the left a bit. Click on it and drag it to cover all of the photos. Double click on frame and I'm going to name this what the pictures are. So flowers one. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click out of it. And now you'll see that it is prepared to be in a, a library. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my assets tab and I'm going to click on the book icon. And the book icon is the team libraries icon. And you'll see that this is where I'm at right now. And it says there are no components or styles. If this is happening, that means that it does not want to publish them to a library. And so how to fix that, and you can easily tell if this may happen, it's because the picture, the name of it begins with an underscore. When it begins with the underscore, it's telling the program to hide these pictures from a library. So any picture that starts with an underscore or a period, that means that they will be hidden if you try to add it to a library. So how to get that to not happen is either make sure your pictures do not have an underscore or a period at the beginning, or if they do and you can't edit all of them, just like these pictures here, I'm going to go ahead and under the assets tab, under local components, it shows my category. It shows my flowers category. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one and hit shift and it's going to make me click on all of them. And I'm gonna click on all of them so that they're all selected. When they're all selected, I'm going to click on any of them, a double click or a right click, and this is what it shows. Oh, when publishing, I'm going to click on that and this tells the program that it's okay to publish these to a library. Once I've clicked on that, I'm gonna go back to the book icon and this is where it shows published. Okay, awesome. So now I hit published. This shows all of the pictures that I'm adding to a library. There are some times where there's a few of them that are not selected. So double check if they're all selected, just a quick scroll. And if they're not, you could just click here at the top on changes and it will select or deselect. Publish, and then it's going to go ahead and publish the library. These were the first ones. And I want to give you an example of what happens when the picture does not have a title that has an underscore or a period. Photos right here do not have an underscore or a period. So we're gonna go ahead and do these ones so that you can see the difference. Okay, let's see, adding to our library, adding to the page. I'm going to go back to our layers panel. I'm going to go ahead and hit shift on the top picture and then I continue to hold shift and I select the bottom. This selects them all. At this point I'll go back, I'll go to my component, create multiple components. Great. I'm going to hit the F key to create a frame around them. I'm going to double click frame one and I'm going to put flowers two. I'm going to go ahead and go to my assets tab. I'm going to go to the book icon and you'll see it immediately shows publish eight changes. Go here, make sure that they're all there and they're all checked. Publish. Okay, great. 
So that means that now these are in a library. I want to go and double check and make sure that they were put in a library and that I can preview them from any other file. So I'm going to open up a new design file and this is gonna go ahead and open up an untitled file. You want to make sure that they can be previewed in other files. It has happened before when you put too many pictures in a frame, only a few of the pictures will show in the preview box, which makes it a problem because if they do not appear in the preview box, then people cannot use them properly in other files. Okay, we have our untitled file up. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is go to the assets tab. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the, the book icon again. And this is where I'm going to turn on the library that I just made. So it's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out and you'll see immediately that these two two categories that I published are in here. And this is what I'm talking about previewing. Make sure that you click on that bottom arrow and check if they all show. These ones show and these ones show. If there are too many pictures in a frame, it will not show all of them. And that's it. Have a good one. Bye.